Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can use Bandit in Python. So Bandit is basically a tool which allows you to test your code from security perspective. And we are going to use one of my Git repositories, which is called Python. It's full of a bunch of old codes and I think for this purpose, this will do. So first I'm going to navigate to my coding folder. And here I'm going to create a virtual environment called BNDIT. Inside this virtual environment, what I would like to do is after activating is to install Bandit. And once uh, this tool is installed, in the meantime, let's navigate to the desktop coding folder and use the git clone on my repository. Wow, it was fast. So now Bandit is installed and we are going to go to the repository. I think it's called Python. And if we want to execute Bandit on a single file, here is what we can do. For first, what we can do is to check the command line switches. So technically we have this help and then what we can do is either specify a file or a list of files to be tested or we can specify a directory. So first what we would like to do is to specify the file and technically we can use bandit and dash r well, not not the r but uh, rather a simple file so dash a All right, so dash A, and what do we have here? Inside this folder, we have the, the threading example file. Bandit dash A threadx. No, it is not going to work, but what we can do is to specify simply the file. So thread x.py. And as you can see, here are the results. Uh, we have a pretty decent output from this module. And technically, the first problem is that we have a request call without a timeout. And if we inspect the code, Let's open up our code editor, which is NeoVim, and navigate to the Python and the Threadix file. We should see, if you scroll down, that here in this URL parser class, we have the requests get URL and there is no timeout specified. So we could say that this is correct. Let's check another example. Let's pick another file. Let's call this Tweeto Bandit, Tweeto.py. And there are no issues found with this script. Let's see if we have any problems with the YouTube API. 
Hmm, we have quite a few low priority uh, problems. Let's scroll up to the top. And technically, if you check, here we have request call without timeout, 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 and so on. So technically, if we check the script again, let's go down here and the YouTube API, you can see that we have this request get stuff without timeout. And if you want, we can use the bandit dash r and specify a folder. And inside this folder, you can see that we have scanned all the Python files. So possible binding to all interfaces. Yeah, hmm. because I have a Flask or WebSocket application. All right, we also have security implications with the module. And there is also an option which is called dash LL. So by default, only medium and high category errors will be shown or problems. But if we specify dash LL, it should print out all the low level problems as well. Use effects detected. Yeah. So it's more talkative. Polarmico call without policy set to automatically trust unknown host key. Hmm. Uh, this this module I I've recently discovered. I was reading I think. Hmm. I was reading <laughs> Python related book, and um, for whatever reason it caught my attention. And technically that's all I wanted to show you. If you want, you can also hmm, specify different profiles. You can specify different uh, levels that you want to see. You have the option to use TOML files. So pff, technically it's a pretty flexible module. And we also have dash n3. So dash n3 is going to specify how many lines we would like to see to get the context of the specific problem that it discovered. If I run it with five, you can see the number of line, lines grow. And yeah, so that was all. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.